second part of the video on transients and recurrence and irreducibly closed sets within Markov chains. Uh, if you haven't, if you didn't get a chance to see the first part, I'm not going to go back over the definitions, but I suggest you look at that video. Um, I'll put a link below uh, so you can click on that and uh, I'd, I advise watching that one first bef before, before watching this one. However, I'm going to continue. So just like the previous video, we're looking at all the transient states. Now, we can see pretty clearly here that two speaks to one, but I don't see a clear route back from one to two. So let's write that two speaks to one. However, one doesn't speak to two. This makes two transient by our definition above. Now likewise, three speaks to six. However, I don't see a clear out from six back to three. I mean, it can go to five, it can go to four, that can go to one, but back to five, but I don't see anywhere going back to two and two goes to three, so I don't see anywhere from six to three. So six doesn't go to three implies three is also transient. Now, We've got, a, we've got a closed set here, right? Uh, remember the definition is that it's impossible to get out of a closed set once you're in it. So if we start at two and we go to one, I see us going to four and back to one and that's it. Or if we go to one, we can go to five and then from five we can, either, we can go back to four and then we can go back to one or we can go from one to five to six but then it's back to five, then to four, then to one. So I see this is a closed set um, and we'll We'll note it as C again uh, to be the same as the definition. So C, I'm going to claim is 1, 4, 5, and 6. And we can see this is closed, right? If you end up in 4, you're only going to be able to get to 1, 5, 6, and 4. Uh, and then likewise with 5, 6, and 1, right? So I'm going to put is closed. Also, 1, 4, 5, and 6 all speak to each other, right? 1 speaks to 4, 1 speaks to 5, 5 speaks to 4, 5 speaks to 6, 6 speaks to 5. Um, so it's irreducible as well. And then by our definition, if a set C is closed and irreducible, all the states inside the set are recurrent. So this implies that states 1, 4, 5, and 6 are recurrent and we are finished. So again we've gone through all, all of all states one through six. We've notified which ones are transient. We've notified or we've we've identified which ones are recurrent and also uh, the set that's closed and irreducible. So here we've got a little bit different of an example. Um, just based on the fact that the the other sets were very clear um, on what were closed and irreducible and this is a little bit a little bit more complicated not so much but um, we really we really don't have that many transient states here right so I see that three can go to one but one definitely isn't going back to three you know um, and likewise with two and four so I'm going to state 3 goes to 1. You can pick any one of those, but I'm going to say 1. And 1 doesn't go back to 3. So by our definition, 3 is transient. Um, that being said, we can see here that 1 only goes to 5, and 5 only goes to 1 and 5. So 1 and 5 is a closed set. Uh, we can see this here from the Markov chain. And we also can see here from our gra my graphical representation. So the set 1 and 5 is impossible to get out of, right? So therefore it is closed. And 1 communicates with 5 and 5 communicates with 1. So our definition of, of irreducibility is also, also confirmed. Um, so and irreducible. So this implies by definition again if a set C is closed and irreducible then all of the states are recurrent 
So 1 and 5 are recurring. Likewise, I see 2 and 4 only communicating with themselves. And as soon as you get to either 2 or 4, say you start in 3 and you go to 4, well then you can only get to 2. And you can only get back to 4. And the same with the same with 2. If, if you're in 3 and you go to 2, then you can only go to 4 and you can only get back to 2. So this is closed. And again, the definition of irreducibility, if i and j are in c, then i communicates with j. Well, 2 communicates with 4, and 4 happens to communicate with 2. So this set is also irreducible. And then exactly like the set 1 and 5, we have 2 and 4 are recurrent by that definition.